Welcome back everyone. You may be experiencing some issues on your Android device where for some reason your Wi-Fi is just not working. Now as I stated before, this can happen for a lot of different reasons and specifically in this specific case, I'll go ahead and show you two main ways to fix it. Now the very first way I'm going to show you is more of a software way to fix it. And the third way or the second way is probably going to be more so like a hardware way, not really. They're both going to be, you know, relatively easy. So the very first thing you want to do is you want to make your way over to your Wi-Fi settings app. So you can go into your Wi-Fi just like this. You want to go into connections, which is right here. And obviously you want to make sure you're connected to a strong Wi-Fi connection. So as you can see right here, I am connected to a Wi-Fi connection, but make sure you're connected to the 5G one. As you can see, I'm connected to the 2 gigahertz one or whatever, the 2G one. You want to be connected to the 5G one or whichever one is the fastest one. Then what you want to do is you want to go ahead and toggle your phone on and off with airplane mode. So go ahead and just toggle on airplane mode, just like, not like that, but just like so. Toggle it on. And as you can see, it turns off every single thing from here. So now all you have to do is turn it back on just like this and basically just see if this ends up fixing the issue. Now, sometimes strictly just toggling it on and off will, you know, fixing it, which is so crazy. But what you want to also do at the same time is you want to go ahead and load up any single app that requires an internet connection. So as you can see right here, I'm loading up the Play Store. You want to scroll through, you want to go through everything you can, and you want to make sure you're able to load up things. Maybe try downloading an app or two, and you want to make sure you're able to do it. If you're able to do it, then you probably already know your Wi-Fi connection is probably fixed. If you're still not able to load up anything, then you probably know it's still an issue. So what you want to do now is you want to go ahead and go into your Wi-Fi settings itself, and you want to disconnect from this specific Wi-Fi that you're on right now. So you want to disconnect from this Wi-Fi, and then you want to re-enable the Wi-Fi or connect to a different Wi-Fi setting. If you want to go and add a network, I would recommend going ahead and changing your Wi-Fi settings to a different router and seeing if that ends up fixing the problem. Sometimes your router may be having an issue, and in this case, I would actually go and recommend you to go to your router and restart your Wi-Fi router itself and see if that fixes it. Typically, this ends up fixing the issue, if I'm being completely honest. At this point, this will end up fixing the issue for a lot of people. Now, if this doesn't end up fixing it, the second way to the second way to do it, which I typically also have seen a lot of success from, is either updating your phone or factory resetting your device and restarting it from there. So what an update does is, I didn't it didn't really happen to me on an Android device, but on my iPhone sometimes, when I'm on an outdated version of software, it just randomly would affect my phones and it doesn't really fix it until I go and update my phone to the most recent version. So what you can do is you can make your way back over to your settings app. You have to go into your little software update panel and you want to go ahead and make sure you're up to date on a more recent version of the software. As you can see, I have a new update available. So I can go ahead and download and update this device to that specific version of software. Now, what I'll tell you is, is that in my opinion, it is good to be on the most recent version. And if you're custom ROMing your phone, if you're doing a lot of stuff like that, if you're modding your phone in any way, then this can also cause a lot of problems in your phone device itself. So it may be best if you actually go stick to a stock ROM, but regardless, actually updating your device will probably end up fixing the issue. Now, if that doesn't end up fixing it either, the next thing you can do, as always, is probably factory resetting your device. So you can go up to your settings panel, click that little search bar, type in reset, and you want to fully factory reset your device. And then you want to go ahead and, you know, boot it back up, go through the panel to actually set it up and see if your Wi-Fi is still fixed. If your Wi-Fi still is experiencing issues, I would recommend rechanging your router, contacting your internet provider, or even taking your phone in to get it fixed because there may actually be a huge issue with your device and you may not even know about it. So that really pretty much covers it up. If you guys have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, not me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So it means so much if you guys can hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my other channels. More importantly than everything else, love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.